And hello everyone and welcome back to my channel and today I got something new and exciting again for my truck that I mean to get for quite a while and I'm really happy I got it luckily there was a Black Friday and Cyber Monday during this last weekend and so I took advantage of that and what I got is I got the blue driver scanner tool for my truck so now I can always see what the codes are and that tool promises a lot of options you can connect it to your tablet or to your phone and you can always monitor like a live stats of the temperature, all kind of RPMs and all kinds of other data. I'm sure as more I play with it, as more I learn about it, uh, I'm probably going to make another video after this later on. This is going to be just like a, a box, unboxing and just uh, trying it for the first time. Actually, it's going to be the first time. It's still wrapped. I haven't opened it or anything yet. Hopefully, it's not defective and yeah we're gonna plug it in we're gonna run the run the app on my phone and see what kind of codes i get and what kind of codes it reads and i know i have few lights over there i have the one for the tire sensor and then i have the i have two lights for the sleep control and attraction which are very common i don't know why it doesn't work it's probably maybe sensor issue but let's see what it's gonna read what it's gonna find out so without further ado, let's open it up, let's see what's inside and plug it in. So in the back it just has a list of all the compatibility for which vehicles and what uh, tablets and phone it works. I'm just gonna put a screenshot next to the video, so I'm not gonna bore you with my reading of all of that. So let's open it up. comes in a very little box has a little sticker like a magnet sticker probably that's pretty neat to get started little manual let's put this all on the side and there you go that's a blue drive itself very small unit the good thing about it you can plug it in and if you can actually use it while the car is running because you can use uh, for the live data streaming so you can see all the information all the exhaust and temperature it can all show it to you as you drive all you know where it has to go in the in the obd2 port and all the cars they have a different i have a nissan exterior and it's located right here and then the steering wheel so that's where i'm gonna plug it in and then we're gonna start the car and gonna connect it to my phone. I already pre-downloaded the app, but I haven't run it yet. So we'll see how that's gonna work out. So on my second gen Nissan Xterra, this is the OBD2 port reader. That's where we have to plug it in our reader. So let's do that. So we align the pins and you plug it in. And it has a blue light on. If the light is red, that means there's some kind of error. But if the, bli if the light is blue, that's good. So let's connect it to the phone. So we plugged it in. Now we're gonna fire up the app on my phone. I'm gonna start a truck and we're gonna see how it works. So let's start it up. Okay, I have a red light blinking right now, but that's just because I don't have an app running. So. So let's fire up the app. All right, so we just had to run an update on the blue drive. Now the update is done, we can fire it up and, and actually scan for some codes and some errors that we might have that I know we have some there. That we have the tire pressure, we have the VDC is off and the split is the lights are on, which been on forever. And there is one check engine light code that I'm pretty sure there is which is uh, below threshold of the catalyst converter bank one so let's start the app let's see if it's gonna pair up with a blue drive I see the blue light is blinking now it's solid still still says connecting very excited to use this tool very excited all right and let's check for the codes 
go over here, check engine light, common dash lights. Let's go to common dash lights to begin with. Uh, dash cam lights, uh, make sure they indicate that pa, pa, pa. press OK. And now it's scanning for the codes. It's gonna take a while, so I'm probably just gonna cut that part out or speed it up so you guys don't get bored listening to my voice. I'm very interested to see what it's gonna find out. Oh, I had an ABS light on for a sec. Hopefully it's not gonna... Oh, the light, the airbags went, lights went on. Hopefully it's not gonna shoot me with the airbag in the face. That is very interesting. It's already to 45%. Perhaps I should have went to scan all the codes, but that will be even longer. And like I said, uh, today I'm just gonna scan for a few codes just to mess around with it a little bit. And over time, as I'm gonna use this tool more and more, I'm gonna do another video, like months or two months we'll see video review of using this uh, device and just give you my thoughts what i think about it if it's any good or not all right and we are to 96 percent okay it found three codes what a surprise let's put the uh, survey has uh, 150,000 miles continue all right so we have all the three codes we have are for the anti-braking system codes I'm gonna try to put that video anyways. So it found all these three codes is a pressure sensor circuit. Continue. Gotta find out what that for. All right. So not too bad over here, but let's go in. Let's check the engine. That's some kind of scare. All right, 150,000 miles. Scan. Okay, check engine light, diagnostic. I guess you didn't find any check engine lights. Wow. Continue. Oh, we didn't find any check engine lights. That's a good, that's good. Kind of happy with that. All right, let's go check, 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 check. Well, we have more. Continue. All reset. TPMs reset. Step by step instruction to reset your TPM slides on your dashboard light. Oh, that's interesting. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Drive for rolls. Okay, let's see. Service description, many modern vehicles are required with a tire pressure monitoring system, which is a TPMS, which will let you know when your tire pressure is improperly inflated. Even after correcting the tire pressure, many of the vehicles have pressure that may not be followed to reset the lights. Follow the step below to reset the pressure. Drive, drive the vehicle for over 25 miles for at least 15 minutes. The, and the pressure is supposed to reset on its own. Standard procedure. Well, I already did that. I already tried that. It didn't reset. So I guess this doesn't reset the TPMS sensors. Unless I have to replace the TPM sensors, I guess. Let's see. Let's check. Now let's check the smoke check. Continue. Let's scan for uh, smog. Let's see if we're gonna pass the emission. Alright, for the most part we have them all green, so we are good there. Vehicle information, uh, more. Okay, let's go more over here. Let's go to the let's go to the live data. 
no data is graph please select one or more data sources by okay we gotta go to the gear all fuel system calculate engine load engine temperature engine temperature engine operating vehicle speed stream evidence intake air temperature mass air flow rate Go in the temperature. All right, and over here we can play around and do different uh, selection of the different uh, live data monitoring, which is kind of cool as well. And if you want to add something else, you can always go and do that. And all right, everyone. So that was uh, like a mini review and unboxing of this uh, Blue Drive device. Uh, I'm very happy I got it. Hopefully, in the future, I make another video with a more detail, uh, like a overview. Once I use it more, once I get more familiar with it. But for now, I'm pretty happy with the way it works. I can read what the codes are and hopefully figure out what the issues are. Hopefully, there is not going to be any issues. But yeah. So I hope you guys enjoyed this little short video and until next time, bye!